Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 7 Integrals Exercise 7.5. Integrate the rational function. Question number 1 x by x plus 1 into x plus 2. So this is in the form of a divided by x plus a into x plus b form. Right? x divided by x plus a into x plus b form. So that one how we can write? We should be equal to a by this one plus a by uh, next term we can write. Correct? So this one we can write it as let x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. If this is in the form of x by x plus a into x plus b means we can write it as a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 2 we can write. So next step we can do the cross multiplication. So this is equal to x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 the whole divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. The like terms on both sides will cancel. This become cancel. So what is remaining? x equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1 we can write. So next we are going to find the value of a and b by equating coefficients right. So before that we can open the bracket. So x equal to a x plus 2a plus b x plus b. Correct. So we can equate in the coefficient coefficients of x and the constants we can find the value of a and b. So we can do the equating coefficient of coefficients of x and constants so then we can write equating coefficients of x so here what is the coefficient of x 1 equal to here two terms are there along with the x so what are the coefficients a and symbol is plus b so a plus b equal to 1 one equation we will get and equating the constant constant means here there is no constant so 0 equal to here two constants 2a and b are constants so that is equal to 2a plus b we will get right so from here what is the value of a here a equal to 1 minus b we can write correct so instead of a what i can write 1 minus b that means 0 equal to 2 into 1 minus b plus b that means 0 equal to 2 minus 2b plus b so minus 2b plus b is what minus b right 0 equal to 2 minus b therefore b equal to 2 we will get if b equal to 2 means we can find the value of a right so a equal to 1 minus b value is 2 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so a equal to minus 1 also we will get now we will get the value of a and b simplifying these two equations we will get the value of a and b we can substitute over here so this equation how we can write x by this equation we can write it as x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to why we are substituting over here because this one only we are going to integrating right so this is equal to a a is minus 1 by x plus 1 plus b b is 2 2 by x plus 2 now we can do the integration correct so i equal to so integral x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx equal to minus 1 by x plus 1 dx plus integral 2 is a constant that I can write outside by 1 by x plus 2 dx. So this is in the form of integral 1 by x. Integral 1 by x is what? Log x only right. That means minus log x plus mod x plus 1 plus 2 log mod x plus 2 plus c. c is the arbitrary constant or constant of integration. So log x raised to n is what? Log x raised to n we can write it as n log x. Correct. So this is in the form of n log x. So this one we can I can write it as log x plus 2 to the power 2 I can write. Correct. So this is equal to minus log mod x plus 1 plus log x plus 2 power 2 I can write. 
plus c. So this is in the form of log a minus log b. Log a minus log b is what? Log a by b, right? Log a minus log b. So log mod x plus 2 by x plus 1. So this is x plus 2, the whole square by x plus 1 plus c we can write. This is the answer. This is a plus a log a minus b. So log a, a is x plus 2 the whole square divided by b is x plus 1 plus c answer. Question number 2, 1 by x square minus 9. So this is x square minus 9 means how we can write. This is x square minus, this 9 I can write as 3 square, right. So this is equal to 1 by x square minus 9 is same as 1 by x square minus 3 square, right. So this is in the form of a square minus b square. So what is the expansion of a square minus b square? a plus b into a minus b. So this one I can write it as 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 I can write. So again this is in the form of x plus a into x plus b that means a divided by b can write correct. So this one I can write it as 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 equal to a by x plus 3 plus b by x minus 3. Now we can cross multiply it. So this is equal to a into x minus 3 plus b into x plus 3 the whole divided by x minus 3 into x plus 3 I can write this one uh, left hand side is 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 the same term will cancel so 1 equal to here I can open the bracket also ax minus 3a plus bx plus 3b. So now we are going to find the value of a and b by equating coefficients of x and a constant term. Equating coefficients of x and a constant. That means equating coefficient of x means here there is no x term. So 0 equal to here x terms are ax and bx. So ax plus bx. So a plus b is the coefficient of x. So from here what we can write a equal to minus b I can write correct and constant here constant is 1 1 equal to here the constants are minus 3a plus 3b is the constant from these two terms I can take either 3 as common or directly I can substitute the value over here. So this value I am substituting over here means 1 equal to instead of a what I can substitute minus b. So minus 3 instead of a I am writing minus b plus 3b so minus minus plus so 1 equal to 3b plus 3b that means 6b equal to 1 therefore b equal to 1 by 6 b equal to 1 by 6 means what is the value of a therefore a equal to minus 1 by 6 this is the value of a also now we can substitute the value of a and b and we can do the integration so this one I can write as 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3. This one I am keeping it as equation number means substituting a and b in equation number 1 I can write equal to a. a is minus 1 by 6 divided by x plus 3 plus b. b is 1 by 6 divided by x minus 3. Now we can do the integration. So integral 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 dx equal to here also we need to apply the integration so minus 1 by 6 is the constant that I can write outside minus 1 by 6 integral 1 by x plus 3 dx again 1 by 6 is the constant write outside remaining is 1 by x minus 3 dx so now we can write the answer minus 1 by 6 this is 1 by x form integral 1 by x is log x that means log x plus 3 plus 1 by 6 into this is also in the form of 1 by x though log x minus 3 plus c the constant of integration or arbitrary constant from these two terms I can take 1 by 6 common right so 1 by 6 common means the plus term I am writing first that means log mod of x minus 3 plus minus log mod of x plus 3 
plus c. So this is in the form of log a minus log b. Log a minus log b, how we can write log a by b, right? So log a is x minus 3 divided by b is x plus 3 plus c. Answer. Question number 3. 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Here 3 terms are there. So each one we need to divide by a divided by plus b divided by plus c divided by we can write. So this one I can write it as let 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3 I can write. Now I am going to take the LCM. So this one 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a into LCM is x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 right. So each term we need to multiply means a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into this term will go remaining is x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into this term will go means remaining is x minus 1 into x minus 2 the whole divided by LCM x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. So the same term will cancel. So what is remaining? 3x minus 1 equal to a into this one is remaining. Correct. So how we will simplify means uh, equating the coefficient of x and a constant. So here we can see that if you are opening the bracket means x square term is there, x term is there, constant term is there. Right. So that is uh, it's very difficult. We will get the equation at this abc in terms of x square, x and a Constant is also in terms of A, B, C we will get. That means it's very difficult to, it's very lengthy process to solve that three equations. So in order to avoid that one, what we will do is we will try to make each term zero. After that we are finding the value. How we can make it means, suppose here I am, uh, these terms we can check. Here I am substituting if x equal to 1 means 1 minus 1 is 0. That means the whole term becomes 0. Here also 1 means this whole term becomes 0 only. That means what is remaining? Only the A term is remaining. Correct. That means we can easily find the value of A. So one, like that we need to find the value of A, B and C. First one we are doing put x equal to 1. If x equal to 1 means 1 minus 1 0. 0 into something means this whole term will go. This whole term become go. So what is remaining means 3 into 1. 3 minus 1 equal to a into 1 minus 2, 1 minus 3 plus 0 plus 0 only. Because here we are substituting 0 means the whole term becomes 0 only. Right. So this one 3 minus 1 is 2 equal to A into 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So minus minus plus 2A equal to 2 therefore a equal to 2 by 2 1 we will get correct so now we will get the value of a so it is very easy to find out otherwise it is very lengthy process to find the value of a b c and c next thing we are going to eliminating so here we can eliminate next we are going to find the value of b right so these two terms we need to eliminate so which one we need to substitute if i am substituting x equal to 2 means this term becomes 0 the whole term becomes 0 this is also become 0 right so now we can find the value of b that means put x equal to 2 if x equal to 2 means here also we need to put 0 sorry 2 3 into 2 is 6 minus 1 equal to this one 2 minus 2 is 0 0 into something means 0 that whole term becomes 0 next term, only b term is remaining right so b into 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 3 plus c into this 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 means 0 into something means 0. That whole term become go. Then 5 equal to b into 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So minus b equal to 5. Therefore b equal to minus 5. So this is the value of b. Correct. Next we are going to find the value of uh, c. So in order to find the value of c what we need to substitute. Here, next uh, C means which term we need to avoid this 1 and 2 we already substituted, right? So, um, so this 
sorry sorry uh, finding the value of c so here we need to substitute three value right put x equal to three if x equal to three means uh, uh, what we will get three into three is nine minus one equal to three minus three is zero this is also three minus three is zero the, this two term will go remaining is c into three minus one three minus one is three minus one again right into three minus two so eight equal to c into 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 1 is 1 therefore c equal to from here we can write c equal to 8 by 2 8 by 2 is 4 that is the value of c c equal to 4 also we will get now we can substitute this values and do the integration so here we can um, now we got all the values of a b c and uh, here this one we can keep it as equation number 1 substituting the values of a, b and c in 1. That means 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a by. That means 1 by x minus 1 plus b. b is minus 5 by x minus 2 plus c. c is 4. 4 by x minus 3. Now we can do the integration. So integral 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx equal to integral 1 by x minus 1 dx minus 5 is the constant integral 1 by x minus 2 dx plus 4 is the constant integral 1 by x minus 3 dx. So, integral 1 by x is log x. That means log x minus 1 minus 5 log x minus 2 plus 4 log mod x minus 3 plus c. This is the answer. This one we can write it as answer. Question number 4. x by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So, this one also we can write it as let x equal to x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3. So now we are going to take the LCM. So this is equal to a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into this term will go remaining is x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into this will go remaining is x minus 1 into x minus 2 the whole divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 in both side lhs is same means that we can cancel so what we will get x equal to a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Next we are going to find the value of a, b and c. Here also if you are opening the bracket and simplify means it's very difficult. So what we need to do, we need to substitute the value and eliminate one term and we can find the value of a, b and c. First we are going to find the value of a. That means 2 and 3 instead of what is there? 1. If you are substituting 1 means 1 minus 1 0. The whole term becomes 0. Here also 1 by 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 means the whole term becomes 0. So what we are substituting first? Put x equal to 1. If x equal to 1 means this 1 equal to a into 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 3. 1 minus 1 is 0 means the whole term becomes 0. This is also 0. So then no need to write these two terms. Only this one. From here we can easily find the value of a. Right? So 1 equal to a into 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Correct. So minus minus plus 2a equal to 1. Therefore a equal to 1 by 2. This is the value of a. a equal to 1 by 2 we will get. Correct. Next we are going to find the value of b. If we want to substitute b means 
which we need to substitute x equal to 2 we need to substitute that means 2 means these two terms become cancelled right so I put x equal to put x equal to 2 x value we are going to substitute as 2 2 means here 2 equal to here 2 minus 2 0 means whole term becomes 0 only b term is there 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 3 instead of x we are substituting 2 here 2 means this term also becomes 0 so 2 equal to b into 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so minus b equal to 2 therefore b equal to minus 2 that is the value of b b equal to minus 2 we will get next we are going to find the value of uh, which one c for finding c we can substitute put uh, x equal to here 3 we need to substitute x equal to 3 so 3 minus 3 is 0 the whole term becomes 0 3 minus 3 this whole term becomes 0 so 3 equal to here 1 x is there instead of x we are writing 3 c into 3 minus 1 into here 3 minus 2 that means 3 equal to c into 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 so therefore c equal to this is 2c so c equal to 3 by 2 we will get so this is the value of c also now we can substitute the value over here substituting a b c in in this equation so x divided by integral we can write integral x by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx equal to this one is same as which one integral a that means 1 by 2 by x minus 1 dx plus b b is minus 2 by x minus 2 dx plus c c is integral 3 by 2 by x minus 3 dx so this is equal to 1 by 2 is a constant this is 1 by x form integral 1 by x is log x minus 1 minus 2 is a constant again 1 by x minus 2 dx is log x minus 2 plus 3 by 2 is the constant 3 by 2 1 by x integral 1 by x is log x that means log mod x minus 3 plus c this is the integral answer question number 5 2x by x square plus 3x plus 2 here we can see that this is denominator is not in the form of x plus a into x plus b here the substitution method is also not possible because derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of 3x is 3 3 term is also not there so what we can do we can uh, we can try to factorize the denominator correct so what is the denominator denominator is x square plus 3x plus 2 is the denominator correct so here what is the product product over here is 2 and the sum is 3 right so we need to find the number 2 into 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so what we can select the number 2 and 1 is the number we can select using this number we can split the middle term right so this one we can write as x square plus x plus 2x plus 2 we can write that means we can regroup these two terms so x into x plus 1 from here you can take 2 common 2 into x plus 1 so again x plus 1 common means how we can write x plus 1 into x plus 2 I can write correct so this one instead of x square plus 3x plus 2 what I can write x plus 1 into x plus 2 I can write so by factorization method we are factorizing these terms so this one we can write as this is equal to 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 we can verify also this is correct or not this is x plus a into x plus form x plus b form x square plus a plus b into x plus a b right so x into x is x square a plus b that means 2 plus 1 is 3 into x 3x plus a b that means 1 into 2 is 2 correct that means our uh, factorization is correct only now this one how we can write this one we can write it as a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2 we can write so this one we can write as 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to we can uh, you'll see that means cross multiplying so a into x plus 2 
plus b into x plus 1 the whole divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. So denominator is same means we can cancel. So what is remaining? 2x equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Here we can here the opening the bracket is very easy only right. So he, here we can equate in the coefficients of x and the constants. We can find the value of a and b or by substitution. x equal to minus 2 means the whole term we can go. If x equal to minus 1 means this term will go. Any one method you can follow. I am equating the coefficient of x and the constant. Equating coefficients of x and the constant that means equating coefficient of x means here what is the coefficient of x 2 equal to here coefficient of x is a x right plus b x that means a plus b and constant constant means here there is no constant correct so 0 equal to 2 a here the constant is b plus b so from here we can write b equal to minus 2a right so instead of b what i am substituting minus 2a i am substituting so 2 equal to a instead of b i am substituting minus 2a a minus 2a that means 2 equal to minus a therefore a equal to minus 2 we can write so if a equal to minus 2 means this become b equal to 2 into minus minus 2 into minus 2a that means minus 2 into a is minus 2 minus minus plus b equal to 4 we will get or directly we can substitute the value of x equal to minus 2 in that way also we can find out so now we got the value of a and b now we can substitute over here so 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to a that means minus 2 by x plus 1 plus b b is 4 4 by x plus 2 we can do the integration so integral 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx equal to, to minus 2 is the constant we can write outside 1 by x plus 1 dx plus 4 is the constant 1 by x plus 2 dx so this is equal to minus 2 this one integral 1 by x is log x right that means log x plus 1 plus 4 this is also 1 by x that means log x plus 2 plus c this is the answer otherwise we can write the plus 10 first means log for 4 log mod x plus 2 minus 2 log x plus 1 plus c answer